Eddie Nketiah is finally leaving Arsenal. But more importantly, what this does for Arsenal, it gives them the funds to make a late move for a forward. Is that going to be a wide player? Is that going to be a striker? We're going to be talking about Williams, Victor Jokirez, and Ossiman. If you're new to the channel, please go down, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, the road to 25,000 subscribers is well and truly on. And you know what? We're going to be ambitious. If we get it 500 likes, that would be absolutely glorious. Game week two of the Premier League is finished. Arsenal made it back-to-back -back wins. Four goals, six points, two clean sheets, and still some people are unhappy. But we've got a lot to jump into, so make sure you get down and drop it. Now, earlier today, the likes of Fabrizio Romano come out and spoke about Eddie Nketiah. Of course, Eddie Nketiah has been heavily linked with a move away from the North London club all summer. Nottingham Forest, Crystal Palace, Fulham, Marseille have all had lots of interest. But it looks like Crystal Palace are determined to get their man. Understand Crystal Palace have submitted an initial bid to Arsenal for Eddie Nketiah. Club to club talks now start after player opened the door for Crystal Palace project on Sunday. Now, this is absolutely huge. First of all, Crystal Palace haven't had the best start to the Premier League. They lost a, they've lost to Brentford and they have lost to um, West Ham. Bit of a, a sluggish start. They've, con they've only scored one goal. They've conceded four. Their squad has been absolutely ripped to shreds. Gahey looks like he's on the verge of joining Newcastle. Hakeem Anderson's joined Fulham. Elise's joined by Munich, as a big question marks over his future. So the Crystal Palace have done relatively well to, to keep hold of Eze. And you bring a striker like Nketiah through the door. The, the, I think this is positive for both football clubs. One, it gives Arsenal the funds to go out there and sign another striker or another forward because he is an academy player. He's homegrown. It kind of makes a lot of sense. And then you look at Crystal Palace, they're getting a, a Premier League striker who's got potential to perform at a, a lower end slash mid-table Premier League club. Under Glasnar, I think he could thrive. Of course, Crystal Palace have also sold Jordan Ayew. I think he has joined Fulham as well. So it's going to be a very interesting time at Crystal Palace. There's a lot of transitional stuff going on behind the scenes there. One of their owners wants to make a big investment into Everton. So it's, a, it's, it's an interesting time at Palace. And you bring a striker like Eddie and Katerine, who's homegrown, will know the likes of Eze from, from England under-21s. You know, there's some, some good, talented players down there um, at Crystal Palace. And of course, last year they had a good season towards the end. Glasner come in, got them playing some, some really, really good football. And I think this is a right move for Eddie and Katia. I don't think he's ever really going to become the main striker at Arsenal unless there's a huge amount of injuries. And then Fabrizio Romano, around an hour ago, put the blue and red emojis with the eagle emoji um, and a timer, hashtag Crystal Palace Football Club. So I believe he will be a Crystal Palace player. We may get the here we go later today. We may get it early tomorrow, but it will definitely will be soon. So what does that then leave for Arsenal? This is a huge question mark. If Eddie Nketiah does get sold, is it going to be a forward that comes in? There's been a lot of talk about Williams, Victor Jokirez, Victor Ossiman. The Daily Express have come out and said Arsenal are leading the race for £84 million striker. Now, for me... I, I personally believe Williams will stay in Spain for one more year. I think that move is up. And I think that potentially could be one for next season or the season afterwards. I know Barcelona have been heavily linked, but at the moment they've got huge financial problems. They haven't still haven't registered Danny Olmo yet. And he's been there well over a week, probably two weeks now. But they are very, very interested in bringing... Victor Jokirez to the football club. Then you've got the Victor Ossiman situation at Napoli. He's wanted by a number of clubs. What's going to be 
the best solution for us. Now, Fabrizio Romano has come out and said via the standard, Arsenal still want to sign one more sign after Mikel Marino joins from Real Sociedad. The Spanish midfielder was spotted landing in North London on Friday before undergoing a medical and his transfer could be made official today. Fabrizio Romano says their final target for the window will be a new attacker. Then it goes on to say, a blockbuster deal for Nico Williams is highly unlikely, but the Gunners have been linked with Kingsley Coman and Raheem Sterling to bulk up their options. Now, I've spoken about Raheem Sterling a number of times on the football terrace. I think he would be a good signing for Arsenal. I think he played some of his best football under Mikel Arteta when he was one of the coaches at Manchester City. Of course, he knows he knows some of the players, Gabriel Jesus, Zinchenko. He knows Arteta, Premier League proven. Then you look at Kingsley Coman. I don't I think I think Sterling would be a better fit than Coman. Then you look at Leroy Sane. I don't think he's realistic. His wage demands are very, very high. And then you look at other players, Adam Arnold Lookman, PSG are really trying to push to sign him. Of course, they don't really have any superstars now that Mbappe has gone and, and Neymar went before that. So the only, and of, of course, Victor Ossiman at the moment is heavily linked to Saudi Arabia. So the only two or three signings that are realistic or maybe not even realistic, but could happen in the remainder of time for the transfer window for Arsenal is a Raheem Sterling, a Victor Jokires, but it all depends on what Arsenal want to do. The, the big thing was about getting Eddie Nketiah out the door. He is now at the door. So what does this mean for, um, what, 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 what does this mean for Arsenal going forward? You know, you look at, you look at, Eddie and Ketty is out the door. That fee is, is about is about to be agreed. Emil Smith Rowe has joined Fulham. I personally believe going forward, Arsenal, once Enketia signs for Paddy's, will go in for a forward. I just don't know if there's enough time. The window shuts in four days. Four days' time. And a lot of Arsenal fans will be unhappy that they didn't get a striker. And a lot of Arsenal fans will be somewhat pleased with, with the transfer window in terms of incomings and outgoings because a lot of their, a lot of their players were um, that have been linked to, they've, they've managed to get two players over the line, which is Ricardo Calafuri and Mikel Marino. They've also got players that are heavily linked to the move away. Arsenal reject, defend, direct, uh, reject a deal for a defender, and that is Jakob Kivior. Clubs in Italy are keen on uh, taking the backup um, from Arsenal. I don't think he is a backup. I think he's a good player um, on loan. TMW reports on zero interest from Arsenal uh, in such deal. Bologna are the latest club to check on Kivior as a potential replacement for Ricardo Calafuri after Juventus and AC Milan were knocked back. I think in, in this day, squad depth is so important. And I think Kivior will probably stay around as well as Zinchenko. Um, so what, what's going to happen with Arsenal's forward situation? I don't think, I think someone, we could see a late move for someone like Raheem Sterling. I think once the, once the news comes out for Eddie Nketiah to permanently join Crystal Palace, that's a homegrown signing, academy player, 100% profit, surely Arsenal going for a forward for the remainder of the transfer window. Surely they make a move uh, in, in the transfer window. You know, Arsenal have got Mikel Marino over the line. You know, there's there's Adamana Lookman, there's Raheem Sterling. I don't think Williams, as, as it stands, it, it is realistic. You've got Ivan Tony out there. I think Arsenal will make a move for a forward. I just don't know if they're going to have enough time to get it over the line unless they've already got one lined up and then it just gets bang out of nowhere, just just gets just gets announced. It could be like that. You know, Tottenham did that with Aubert from, from Burnley. Out of absolutely nowhere, bang, he's been announced. Let me know uh, your thoughts if you haven't already. Victor Ossiman um, apparently prefers a move to a European club. 
But Napoli have agreed a deal with Al Ali to sell Victor Osimhen for a package worth over £55 million. That's according to Fabrizio Romano, who claims personal terms talks are ongoing. The Nigerian wants to keep the big salary he earns in Naples. And there is talk of a release clause being added to his contract. Uh, Ossiman is said to be open to a loan exit, which comes from the Telegraph, reports Chelsea eyeing him. And then, of course, Arsenal are very interested as well. So the next couple of days is going to be very, very important for Arsenal in the transfer window. I just don't know. Like, I think a wide player is more realistic. I just don't know if it's going to be Sterling. Lookman is still on the radar. You've also got Kingsley Coman, Sane. You know, Rafina has been heavily linked as well. Let me know your thoughts down below. Will Arsenal sign a forward? They want to get a forward done. Eddie Nketiah, he's on the verge of joining Crystal Palace, which opens up absolutely everything for them. You know, um, and one hour ago, uh, after an official bid from Crystal Palace to Arsenal earlier, Fabrizio Romano has come out and said, said, and I quote, Agreement done between Crystal Palace and Eddie Nketiah's camp on personal terms. Contract in place. Salary agreed on final details being sorted to prepare all documents. Club to club agreement getting closer. So Arsenal believe they are going to sell Eddie Nketiah. They're happy with the £30 million price tag. Crystal Palace getting a Premier League player um, from one of the biggest clubs around. I think, I think Nketiah is going to do well. I'm going to be brutally honest. I think Eddie Nketiah... Is going to do well um, for for Crystal Palace. Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you have subscribed. The road to 25,000 subscribers is well and truly on. Make sure you drop a like. If we get it 500, that would be absolutely glorious. And the Premier League is back on this weekend. I'm going to try and cover um, Chelsea and Liverpool um, in the next couple of days. I want to talk about Chelsea's um, attacking options and the, the issues they may have between defence and attack. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and I am.